Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing about DynamoDB streams. So DynamoDB streams is basically an ordered flow of information about the changes that we make to the items in the DynamoDB table. So whenever we are making any changes to the records in the table, so definitely it will record those changes. So when you enable a stream on a table, it captures the information about every modification, whether it's a update, it's a delete being done on the items in the table. So we this stream records can be used for the scanners data streams or for the client library, AWS Lambda. Moreover, it is being retained for 24 hours. So we will see how we can see it from the logs from the CloudWatch. So it is used for analytics purpose, Elasticsearch, cross-region application, as well as for the real-time changes. So this is the working whenever any item is being created, updated or deleted. Then Amazon in the in the Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon Dynamo streams with the help of AWS Lambda, that actions are being recorded. We can give it to the kinesis or we can use it for elastic search and all. We can use it. So in today's lab, I will show you how to first create a DynamoDB table. We'll add some records to it. Then we will trigger the event using a Lambda function. And to the Lambda function, we'll show you how to add the permissions in order to uh, read the data from the DynamoDB table and put the logs in the CloudWatch using the Lambda function and updating or deleting the records. And then finally checking the CloudWatch logs. So we'll move on to the AWS console. In the AWS console, just search for AWS Dynamo DB. Go there. So our region is North Virginia. So let's go to the tables. So there's no tables. Let's create a table. Let's say students info partition key ID SID. The rest we can keep it as optional. Create table. It will take some time. You can refresh over here so you can see it has been created. So let's go over here. So there's no items over here. Actions. Create item. One to one. Add a new attribute. Let it be S name. So we'll just keep it ID and name, create an item. So you can explore the items over here. You can see this is one item. Again, we will create one more item. Let me go back over here, this name. So you can see our table has been created. Now we will go to the DynamoDB tables. You can check the additional settings over here encryption, total time to live, export and streams over here. So you need to enable this DynamoDB streams. So here these options are there, capture item level changes in your table and push the changes to the DynamoDB stream 
and we can access the information through DynamoDB Streams API. So either you can have some key attributes only if you want a new image, the changes that were being made, then the old image, what was the previous values, and we can also capture both new and old. So I'm choosing this new and old images, enable stream. So you can see this DynamoDB streams has been enabled. We can see the error number and all. Once this DynamoDB streams has been enabled, we can see over here trigger is there. We'll just click on create trigger. So choose function over here. We don't have any Lambda function over here. So we'll click create new. It's taking some time. <clears throat> okay, it is in the North Virginia. So let's, I'll use a blueprint for sample code and all. So I'll just strike it over here. Then um, more. So you can see over here, process stream. I'll choose this one, Python one. Click OK. So function name, Dynamo DB stream Lambda. Okay, so we will create a new role with the basic Lambda permissions. And the table that is student info our table on which the Dynamo DB trigger will work. Batch size, let it be 100. And this batch window, how many records you want to read from your update stream at a one starting position, whether from the latest, the new records or trim something from the beginning and you want it from the end. And this is our function over here by default Lambda function. So it is basically printing received event, ID, name and DynamoDB record, what record was being updated. So then we will create function over here, restore things, let it be same. It will take some time because it's creating the new role as well as it's creating the Lambda function. So you, so you can see over here, our Lambda function has been created, but the problem over here, but error occurred when creating a trigger cannot access a stream. So there is no permission because we created the Lambda function with the basic permission. So we can go to the permissions over here and uh, we have a source based policy we can add permissions over here let me go back over here so this is our lambda we can go to the configuration you can see over here role name execution role you can click on this so this is by default that was being created So to this, we will add the permissions. So Dynamo DB. So as I just did it for read access, so I'll just give them read only access to the Dynamo DB, and let's give Dynamo DB execution role. We can also give full access, but not required because. We just want to read the data. So just we can attach this to. Okay, so the policy has been updated. So let's refresh this one. So I'll just refresh. Uh, yeah, that error is gone.
So once this Lambda function is being created, so we can go back to our trigger over here. Just refresh this one. And you can see DynamoDB stream Lambda is coming. Let me put the batch size of 100 and create trigger. Now we can just go to the Lambda function. So you can see it's showing the DynamoDB as a trigger. Now we will go back to our table that is student info. Let's explore the items. So let's modify this one. And we can also let's create an item. We can also delete this one, delete items. So for all these events, my Lambda is getting triggered. Let's go back to my functions over here. Lambda function. So we can go to the monitor. So you can view the logs in the CloudWatch. So you can see, this is the latest that has been created. So this is the, you can see, start request. I inserted a record with the SID and name. So that is a new image. And if you see this one, I removed also that one. And this was one, this was an old image. And even I changed for, from Ali to Muhammad. Ali Ahmed. So all this records has been added over here. We can just refresh this one. So as per the timestamp, you can see the changes has been recorded. So you can go back and you can if you remove some records again, it will get added in the, let's go to this one and select this, delete items. So just refresh. So you can see, just now it has been added over here. So you can also see the timestamp over here. See, it's clearly mentioned over here. You can see over here, this was a previous record that I modified. So there is no new events. So this is how we can and we can copy from here and then we can move the record somewhere else. Just a cleanup. So we can just uh, delete our first lambda function over here. So we can delete it in order to avoid any charges. We can delete our table also. And there will be uh, IS, I am role also we create that week that also we can do. Delete. So you can see delete all the CloudWatch alarms for this table. So I think still in use. I think I'm using somewhere. Okay, let's refresh. Cloud watch. Okay, nothing is there. Okay. You can see it is being deleting. 
that was an old message. Now it is deleting. So it will take some time to delete. This is how you can clear. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.